Aloha, everybody, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. I will give you a hint, it's the game that's on the screen right now. In the last episode, we didn't do jack shit because this is the first episode. So, in this one, why, well, I guess the various buttons will be explained in order of their importance. Skippity, skippity, skip, skip. Nobody gives a shit. Alright, cool, cool, A, 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 next, 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 and we're done. Now you best get ready for the worst Professor Oak impression you've ever heard. Because you're about to hear it right now. <laughs> Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! My name is Oak! People affectionately refer to me as the Pokémon Professor! This world, dot dot dot, is inhabited far and wide by small blue mice that we call Pokémon! For some people, Pokémon are pets! Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. <clears throat> but first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I believe I'm a boy. Last time I checked, I was at least, so I guess we're gonna go with that. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Hmm, should I? Uh, I'll go with my internet name. I was considering using my real name, but I've decided against it, to be honest. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I am playing Pokemon Fire Red version, which is one of my favorite Pokemon games. Right, so your name's Aloha. I don't think that's Professor Oak saying it, so. Um, Pokemon Yellow was actually my first Pokemon game, which is my favorite. Oh, this is my grandson! He's been your rival since you were both just babies. Or, you know, fuck up the lines, who gives a shit? Alright. Um, what was his name now? Hmm, I think... Oh wait, the option's there. I think I'm just gonna go with Gary, to be honest. Because Gary is just such a good name. Fuck you know! I'm going with fucking Gary. Uh, was it Gary? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. <clears throat> Aloha! Your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold! A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon awaits! Let's go! Sound a little Mario-ish. Huh. I'll have to take care of that. Anyways, so as you can see, we got Pokémon Fire Red version here. This is an almost exact remake of Pokémon Red and Blue. Or Pokémon Green if you were in Japan, I believe. Aloha played with the NES. Okay, it's time to go. So, as with all Pokemon games, the first thing we gotta do, or all ones before Gen 4, is go to the item storage, withdraw item, and pull out this helpful little potion right here. Fuck yeah, free potion. I'm always up for some free shit. Turn off, and we will walk downstairs. Walk, a walk, walk. So, this is one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, simply because it's just what I started with, Pokemon Yellow version way back when. Let's talk to Mom really quick. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Well, yeah, TV's probably the best place to be getting your parenting advice. Oh, yes. Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Well, then, thank you. You seem to care a lot. <laughs> There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on a railroad, or are walking on railroad tracks. I better go, too damn straight you best go. So I noticed there's a sink, there's a, um, what looks like a shelter on the counter. And I have a bedroom, but my mom has nowhere to sleep. Maybe she, you know what? She sleeps in these dirty little pots down here. Like the dirty little slut she is. Ooh, scandalous. Mm. Actually, I'm almost forgetting to do one of the most important things in this sort of thing. Going at tech speed. No. Oops. Going at tech speed and change it to fast because it's just a pain in the ass when it's not. So I think what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go and get our first Pokemon and do all that jazz. So uh, I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to pick yet, to be completely honest. Uh, this is not Professor Oak's lab. Alright, so this is going to be a Nuzlocke run uh, because I just enjoy them more. I've played through these games so many times that they've become a little bit boring without doing that. So that's just what I'm going to go for here. Let's talk to Gary for a second. What? It's only Aloha? Gramps isn't around. Oh, that's the worst voice ever. That's pretty much my voice, exactly. I didn't really change it, just add a little bit of cadence. No, not 
cadence. Cadence is the wrong word. I don't fucking know. So, maybe, it seems Professor Oak isn't in his lab. He's not in Gary's house. And he's not in our house. I don't give a shit where all these other people live. They can sleep in the water for all I care. So, maybe he's out here. Let's just take a little walk-see out. <laughs> hey! Wait! Don't go out! Exclamation point. It's unsafe! Wild Pokémon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokémon for protection! I know! Here! Come with me! Actually, in Pokémon Yellow version, he would bring you into the grass and capture a Pikachu right there, which is, I think is pretty cool. Of course, you know, having a Pikachu when the first gym has ground and rock type Pokémon is kinda difficult, but either way. Oh, I just skipped that. Gary! Let me think! Oh, that's right! I told you to come! <laughs> Scandalous. Just wait! Here, Aloha! There are three Pokémon here! Ha-ha! The Pokémon are held inside these Pokéballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokémon trainer! But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one! Go on, choose! Well, aren't you just the most friendly pedophile? Hey, Gramps, no fair! What about me? Be patient, Gary! You can have one, too! So, let's walk over here and look at these. Um, hmm, Squirtle is your choice. It's one worth raising. Uh, no. Bulbasaur? No. Charmander? Yeah. So, you see, we got these three to choose from, the original three starter Pokémon that everyone loves so much. I feel like everyone always goes with Charmander, and everyone always goes with Squirtle, too. And since this is a Nuzlocke run, I'm gonna want something with a little bit of bulk to it. So, I think I'm going to go for Squirtle. Um, actually, when I played Pokemon Red version for the first time, I actually chose, um, Bulbasaur. I mean, Yellow was my first version, but I got Red version later on. I chose Bulbasaur because in the first generation, Special Attack and Special Defense were the same thing, which made it really, really overpowered, to be completely honest. So. Let's think of a good nickname for Squirtle here. Um, you know what? Just for sake of irony, let's name him S Q U I S H. Oops. Y Squishy. Oh right. Oh, we got a male one. We can't breed him. I'll take this one then. That's a little different. I'm not sure. So, of course, as always, Gary will take the one that you don't choose. So I guess Bulbasaur gets a loving home anyways. That's nice. So, thanks for your fucking Pokemon, I'm out. Wait, Aloha, let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Oh, scandalous. Again. Man, what's with the people in this town? Fucking perverts, all of them. Rival Gary would like to battle. So, this is our first instance of a Pokemon battle in this game. Now, I'm sure you all know what a Pokemon battle is, but for those of you who don't, Oak's going to explain it. Oh, for Pete's sake! So pushy as always! Aloha! You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins! But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience! Try battling and see for yourself! What will Squishy do? Ooh, Tail Whip Tackle, Tail Whip Tackle. Uh, I'm choosing the wrong ones. Um, I've actually lost this battle before while doing a Nuzlocke run, which is terrible. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that Professor Oak voice really takes a number on my throat. Lowering the foe's stats will put you at an advantage! Uh, which sucks, and you have to restart doing that, because... In a Nuzlocke run, I guess I should explain the rules. Basically, you can only catch the first Pokémon you run into in any given area. Hold on. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle! So you can only capture the first Pokémon in any given area you walk into. Which means you can only capture the first in any route, forest, cave, you can only get trades in cities or wild Pokémon you can come across, or in one case a gift and a few things like that. So, really... Oh, other rules. Uh, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, which means you can no longer use it. You either put it in a PC box to be forgotten forever, or you have to release it. It's really up to you. Uh, an unspoken rule of Nuzlocke's is that you have to nickname all your Pokemon so you become more attached to them. 
which is honestly very cruel because I lost my Pikachu once and it almost broke my heart. It was during the Elite Four too we got so far. Squishy gains 67 experience points. As in every game, experience is the way you level up because Pokemon is in its purest form a turn-based RPG, a party-based turn-based RPG, which are some of my favorite genres of games to be completely honest. Player defeated rival get- oh wait, that's my Professor Oak voice. Alright. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! Aloha got $80, or Poke Money. I'll, I'll call them Poke Dollars. Aloha got 80 Poke Dollars for winning. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokémon will grow! Battle other trainers and make your Pokémon strong! Alright, so... Okay, I'll make my Pokémon battle to toughen it up. I feel like I'm doing something different for him every time. Aloha! Gramps! Smell you later! Cause you know, he gets that little guitar riff when he walks out, cause he's just Gary motherfucking Oak. He's that cool. So we got our first Pokemon, and we are about to step out into the wide world of Pokemon. So, I'm really hoping we're not gonna run into anything our first time through here, because it's a Nuzlocke run. If we run into anything here, then we can't catch anything on this route, so keep your fingers crossed. Alright, so far so good. God damn it! Fuck! Oh well. And Wild Ratata appeared! Oh shit, I haven't healed either. Oh, oh, okay, it heals automatically, I forgot. Well, this is some pre-experience in any case then. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make each episode about maybe 15 minutes or so long. Uh, anyways, Nuzlocke rules again. So, really, they're up to your discretion. Like, if a route is the same route that's split into two, you can still do it if you really feel like it. They're, they're really not that sturdy. Like, the rules aren't set in stone, they're kind of more like set in pudding or sponge or some shit like that. Um, set in... I'll call it soapstone, so that's cool. So this is some free experience right here, he just keeps using tail whip, what a little bitch. That was not in the top percentage of all Ratata. So I believe if we talk to this guy, we got a free little potion. I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please, visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Obtain the potion. Aloha put the potion away in the bag's items pocket. I don't know, I just like saying those words weird because they're all in caps. Anyways, we've already run into a Pokemon on this route, so it looks like we're not getting anything. That's shitty. You have fun in that grass. And of course, here's a Pidgey. It is the generic kind of normal flying type thing. Pretty much every Pokemon game has one, you know, there's Pidgey, there's, um, uh, Starly. I'm a big fan of Staraptor. There's Pidove, or Pidove, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's quite a few of them, actually. I, I'm not gonna bother to remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, okay, I will. Tallow, well, too. And, I don't know, maybe I'm missing one. If I am, let me know in the comments section below. Or, you know, if YouTube changes their fucking layout AGAIN. Then I guess- ooh, Squishy learned Bubble, sweet, we get a stab early on. Uh, stab means same, same type attack bonus. It's a competitive battling term, it basically means that if you use a type, or a move type, that is the same as your Pokemon's type, you will get a 50% increase in damage done. So, right here is a Pokemon Center, and that will heal your Pokemon for free. Up here is a Pokemon Mart, which is where we want to go right now. Hey! You came from Pallet Town! Damn straight I did. You know what, I'm gonna give the Mart people a different voice. Um, you know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Aloha received Oak's parcel. Aloha put Oak's parcel in the key items pocket. Alright, so now we got ourselves Oak's parcel. Which is really what you need to carry on with the game's plot. Because, for some reason, they don't really tell you much about this. It stumped me when I first played it, but I figured it out quickly enough, I guess. So, we can jump down these little ledges here to get back a little bit quicker without having to run into any fucking wild Pokemon. Although, we are going to need experience a lot since this is a Nuzlocke run. So, I'm probably going to be grinding a lot off-screen during this playthrough. <laughs> um, but you won't be seeing that, so you don't have to worry your pretty little heads about it, okay, my friends? Gary's house. Alright, didn't need to know that. So, let's walk in and give Professor Oak his fucking parcel. Alright. Oh, aloha! How is my old Pokemon? 
Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokémon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Aloha delivered Oak's parcel. Oh. Ah, it's the custom Pokéball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Right, I have a request for you two. <coughs> oh god, that hurts my fucking throat. I'm gonna need some water next time I record. <clears throat> on the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Really? Aloha and Gary, take these with you. Because for some reason, just seeing a Pokemon fills in the information, which technically means it's already filled up. So really, he's just an old man full of shit. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Aloha received five Pokeballs. Aloha put the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Bear with me here, folks. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. That's going to be difficult since they keep adding in more and more every generation, although I'm really excited for X and Y. <coughs> but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. Aren't you a bossy fucking old pervert? This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it to leave it all to me. Aloha, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Aloha. Ha ha ha! Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Well, isn't that an obvious hint if there ever was one? So, as per protocol, let us go straight to Gary's house. Because, I mean, he just told us not to, so why the fuck shouldn't we? Um, I'm probably not going to be using the town map much, because later on you get a move that basically works as one that can just warp you around and shit. But it's much more helpful. So, Aloha received a town map from Princess Daisy. Aloha put the town map in the key items pocket. Cool. So, let's open that up really quick. Um... We'll take a look-see at the region that we're in. It's Kanto, for all of you who have played it. So, this here is the Kanto region. Uh, we got ourselves all kinds of fucking places. We got some water down here, we got the Pokemon League up here. Wow, this is gonna be a short game. Look how close we are to the Pokemon League. It's right fucking here. The Indigo Plateau. Mmm, classy sounding. Quite, quite indeed. Yes, I need an extra monocle for this one. Mmm. Anyways, let's close this up, and I guess with that, we will end this episode. I'm just going to go stand in an appropriate place with our first step into the real world of Pokemon. Route 1. So, until next time, Aloha! I am Jibby Aloha, and I'll see you in the next one.